Hey guys, it's Shani and I'm back today with another plan with me. And for this week's spread, I am using this kit from the Graceful Planner. And I originally used this kit for the last week of August. Um, I've had this kit for a really long time. And I don't know, I just kept holding on to it because um, it gave me very like European vibes for some reason. Um, like a lot of the buildings kind of looked like an old like European like street. Um, and yeah, so I just like kept waiting to go to Europe, but then whenever I would, I would like want to use like a travel kit. Um, so I just like never really had a chance to use it. So I was like, you know what, like screw it. Um, I feel like the colors are like great for like a late summer, early fall kind of spread. So that is exactly what I did with it. And then, um, I just loved how that spread turned out. Um, and so I decided to use the leftovers for this week. Um, so I started in my sidebar, I whited everything out with the Tombow whiteout that I always use. And then I had one full box left since there were nine in the kit and I did only use eight. Um, and I decided to foil it up a little bit with this cute heart overlay that's from The Giving Girl. Um, I believe I got it in like an oops grab bag. I'm not sure because there was like maybe like one or two dots somewhere on the sheet that like weren't foiled, but I don't really mind. Um, and then underneath it, I did use this three heart checklist just to kind of track some things that I did or had to do throughout the week. And then for my headers this week, I did use these bow ones from Samantha May Sticks. Um, and they are in rose gold foil, which is the foil color that I did go with this week. And then for the pen, that might look a little bit different to you guys, and it is. Um, I did get these really pretty tool pens. I saw Plans with Brit on Instagram share them, and she said that she uses the 0.3 Pentel, I think, Energel refill in them. So I bought both those things on Amazon, and I actually really, really love it. Um, I have like a few more spreads where I do use like the 0.38, the G2, um, like by Pilot. And that's only because I've already written like a few things into that spread in my EC. But generally, I do kind of want to switch to this pen because I just really, really love how it writes. Um, and I feel like the 0.3 and the, like, compared to the 0.38 just looks so much thinner and prettier. And when I look at my old spreads, when I used to use like, like probably like a 1.0, it was like a damn marker. I'm like, oh my God, that looks so thick. And like so, I don't know, busy looking that it's just like not my vibe anymore. So I do really love this pen. It's like super smooth. And yeah, I'm excited to like start using it. I've also been using it for like my notes and stuff. So it's been awesome. And they just look really pretty as well. So I'm pretty pumped about that. I did get like a pack of I think 10 or 12 in there. Um, let's see. I think it's 12. Yeah. And they come in like a few different like metal colors as well. So yeah, I'm excited about that. And then, okay, Monday is already down, so let's get into it. The first thing that I marked down was that I had to make a call to my dermatologist, and I used a cell phone icon from a leftover kit from Paper Muse Crafts, and I layered it on top of a flag from the kit. And then underneath that, I used a quarter box from the kit, as well as this grocery shopping cart icon from, I think it's Simply Watercolor Co., um, I just have like a little sampler and you'll see me pull in some stickers from there. Um, and yeah, I just marked that my mom and I went to the grocery store. And then once we got back, we did do some cooking. So I used this mixer icon, which I guess kind of relates more to baking because we definitely weren't like mixing anything, but I thought it could work. So that was part of the kit. And so I just used that and I layered a tiny foiled bow on top of it from my shop. And then in the evening, Yanni and I actually finished watching Money Heist um, this day. So I marked that with a TV bow icon from my shop. Tuesday, I marked that it was payday with this like money bag icon that is from my newest addiction. And the payday script is from Kinsey's Creations, who's currently closed um, like for maternity leave. Um, she just had a baby and her baby is so, so cute. And underneath that, I marked working on orders with a half box from the kit, as well as this laptop and like coffee icon that's a leftover from one of my kits. And in the evening, Yanni and I started watching Outer Banks. And so I used an Ava, um, like a couple sticker watching TV, which I love those. I think they're so freaking cute. Um, Wednesday, I marked filming. I kind of had this like laid out 
because uh, I had plans to film when I originally used this uh, kit and then I just kind of had this already like laid out that's why you didn't like see me put all of it together um, but I did just use a washi strip from the kit with a camera icon from the kit too and then um, on the camera I used a bow from Harriet Wright Designs and the film script is from Artbox Stickers who isn't open anymore either which I'm so sad because I do really love her scripts and it was like on my list for so long to get her holiday scripts and then I kept meaning to do it during her closing sale which was like dumb of me not to do um and yeah I do hope that maybe she'll reopen one day but I think she just said she has like too much going on right now so totally understand and I will miss her shop and then underneath it, I marked that I had my Plan With Me go live this day. So I used another one of these circle icons from Simply Watercolor Co. It's just like a little heart on a, on a circle um, on a white background. And then this day, my Kiki K planner did arrive, which was so exciting. I was like so freaking pumped about it. And so I marked it with a planner icon that, I mean, not color wise, but shape wise looks really, really similar to my planner. Um, so that's exciting. <laughs> Love when that happens. And I used another tiny boat from my shop on top of it. And then in the evening, I did um, see my friend Tio. And so I marked going to Starbucks with her with this uh, like pumpkin spice latte, um, like fall doodle that's from the icon sheet from my shop. I freaking love those. I've already gone through all the ones on the sheet. So I'll have to grab myself another sheet. Um, but I did also layer it on top of some floral deco from the kit. It was like really, really massive. And so I cut a bunch of them down to like layer. I mean, not a bunch. I did it twice. Um, so I did do that in the corner there. And then I used the other half that I kind of cut down on Thursday morning and layered a laptop bow icon from my shop on top of it to mark that I was designing a lot of this day since I did have um, new releases on Monday the following week. And then I did also go for dinner with some of my girlfriends. So I did use a half box from the kit with a meal bow icon from my shop. And then I marked um, the fact that we had some drinks and went to their Airbnb with a wine glass icon from Sadie's Stickers. I think her bow icons are pretty cute. I don't know if she does these anymore. I'm not really sure. I'm getting so out of breath from talking. I don't even know why. I haven't even like walked anywhere, ran, ran up the stairs, did nothing, but maybe I'm talking too fast. <laughs> Anyways, Friday, I, um, you know, spent the day kind of in bed, a lot of it, because I had too many drinks the night before, and so I marked that with a flag from the kit, as well as this sleeping Ava from my shop, because I really was in bed, like, most of this day. Pretty much the only things I did were post a haul and then hang out with Yanni in the evening, because I was feeling a lot better. Um, and so to mark the haul, I kind of used the same heart icon that I used um, for the plan with me on Wednesday and I use it again for a plan with me on Sunday. Um, and then I used a quarter box from the kit as well as these two little foiled hearts. And those are um, potentially Arctic Paper Studio, Arctic something studio. I'm blanking out um, on what it's called and I think it's from that shop. I'm not really sure. Um, but that was to mark that Yanni came over, like I said, and we did watch Outer Banks again. Um, and yeah, I just, I loved it. So really, really enjoying the show. <laughs> and um, then I moved on to Saturday. On Saturday, I was feeling a lot better, thankfully. I was no longer hungover. <laughs> and so I was doing some designing again, um, which is really fun. Whenever I have like a spark of inspiration, I love designing, but when I don't, designing is like the hardest thing ever, but thankfully these days I was like really like into it and I was having like a lot of ideas, so it was really, really fun. Um, I marked it with some stickers from the kit, like that flag as well as that monitor icon and used another one of the tiny bows that I've been using that are from my shop. Um, and then underneath it, I, well, before that, I kind of wanted to see how much space I had, so... I used this half box from the kit to mark down going to a barbecue um, at my friend's house. I mean, we didn't know it was a barbecue at the time, but by the time I like got there, um, I was so hungry. <laughs> um, and yeah, he was like, oh, perfect. Well, I was planning to barbecue for us anyways. And I'm like, that is fantastic news. 
Um, and so I used this barbecue icon from my shop and kind of layered a little bow. I was originally going to use this one from my newest addiction and then I ended up not using it and just grabbed a um, like peach palm one. It was a freebie so I kind of layered those two. I don't know that I love how I layered them but I just felt like I wanted something with the barbecue icon and I've never had barbecue icons and I never knew how much I needed barbecue icons because I have gone through so freaking many of these for this summer. Like I don't remember ever barbecuing this much. I think it's because I, I don't know, because of quarantine and I've been home. So I've just been using it a lot and yeah, I love them. And then I went back to Friday to kind of put down these cute little lashes along with it. Um, I kept wanting to like put a divider there, but I thought none of them like looked very cute. And um, I used all the swooshes that I have in my shop, like in rose gold. I don't know how I've gone through an entire sheet because I like just released those. But yeah, I, I again need to make myself some more of those. But I thought these little eyelashes from Bloom Paper Studio were adorable. And then I marked my tragic coffee explosion, which, you know, I think we've we, we've talked about enough because every time I talk about it, it just makes me sad. And every time I look at my planner, I can see it. Um, but I did want to mark it to remind myself of this heartbreak. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I mean, I'm not because I am sad about it, but it's totally fine. But I did use um, a little like coffee icon from Rose Color Days to mark that. Um, and then Sunday I marked that I had a play with me go live like I said with another one of those simply watercolor co uh, circle heart icons and then I marked working on orders again and I just used a quarter box from the kit um, as well as this laptop from sorry it was a printer from the kit too and then I used a bow on top of it from Harriet Wright Designs and the cut stickers script is from Simply Beautiful Plans. I love her like shop owner scripts. I think they're super cute. So I did use that one. And then in the evening, I just kind of marked that I had a bill due that day. And I used a quarter box as well as this bill due script that is potentially from my news addiction. I think it's like from her monthly, um, like little samplers that come with her monthly kits. But I um, had it in my leftover sticker book. So I just kind of pulled that in. I also realized that I didn't put in date dots this week. I totally forgot and I mean, maybe I'll go back and do it, but probably not. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.